Right, quick audio install video for you. So you may previously have already fitted the Alpine Adventure plug and play kit for a T6 or T6.1. We've done a video on this previously, so if you've not already done that, there's a link just there that will show you how to fit that kit. If you have already done that and you wanted to add the amplifier and sub kit, which is this one here, so this is an eight inch sub, comes with a DSP amplifier, comes with a plug and play loom. Um, Mitch is now going to install it in this T6.1 here. So I'll hand you over to Mitch, he'll run you through how to fit all this working out, uh, working with the plug and play loom. We're fitting in a T6.1, but we'll explain along the way the differences if you're fitting it to a T6 or a T6.1. Um, yeah, I'll hand you over to Mitch and he'll crack on. First thing we need to do is remove the four 13 millimeter fixings for the seat and unplug the wiring. Slide off the handbrake cover, remove the two 13 millimeter nuts and the 10 millimeter nut for the handbrake cable. Next, we need to remove the seat base by undoing the four 16 millimeter nuts. Remove the side dash panels and unplug the airbag switch. Next, we need to remove the glove box. Pop off the dash cover and undo the T20 screws. Unclip the under dash panel and remove the glove box. Press headlight switch in and rotate right to release the switch. Remove T20 screw behind light switch. Start by unclipping the under dash panel. Pop off dash end panels. Remove the seven T20 screws for the centre dash. Pop up the gear stick surround and unplug. Put the vehicle in drive to give more clearance for console removal. Pull back on console to release the clips and unplug the cigarette lighter and USB. Feed shifter surround through hole and remove console. Pop off the two dash fascia panels. Use radio release keys to remove the head unit. Certain spec T6.1s have the head unit in the lower dash. Insert radio release keys into the two slots and slide head unit to the left. Unplug the quad lock from the head unit and then slide out the brown plug. Insert Alpine harness into the quad lock and original brown plug into the black Alpine connector. Reconnect the quad lock into the head unit and slide the head unit to the right until it clips back into place. Now peel up the carpet so the Alpine harness can be routed. Pop off the black cover under the carpet. Route the Alpine harness to the passenger seat if you have a single seat base or driver's seat if you have a double. Refit black cable cover and carpet. Check if you have a fuse box under the seat. If not, run the power cable to the battery. There's a grommet located just here. If you have a fuse box, you can connect the power harness into this. This T6.1 has a double seat. We have run the power and amp wiring to the driver's side. Clip the power pin into the slot on the amplifier plug after you have routed it. Connect earth wire to earth stud under the seat. There is one on both sides of the van. Now reassemble the dash, remembering to plug in the connectors. Refit seat bases. You may need to relocate some connectors to allow the sub box to fit under the seat. Set the white amp preset dial to the correct number for your vehicle. Please refer to the instructions. Fit brackets and mount amp to side of sub box. Connect harness to sub box and amp. Install into the seat base and clamp down with the supplied hardware. Reconnect handbrake and fit seats. Insert fuse into the fuse box and enjoy. So that's the point where we'd ordinarily play some really loud music and show you how much better it sounded than before, but we can't because YouTube doesn't like us playing copyright music. So there you go. Take our word for it, it does sound really good. Um, I was just asking Mitch his opinion afterwards and he thought it was just a really good upgrade, great value kit for what you get and how simple it is to install, it's well worth it and it looks smart as well. Uh, if you've already got the pillar kit and the door card speakers, it's a nice package all round. So hopefully that video was useful. We will do some more audio videos, I promised that before and we will get onto it um, in the next few months, I'm sure. <laughs> Plenty of videos coming, like more videos than we've got time to release but we're going to get on it and we're going to double the, try and double the contents we've got twice as many videos coming out a week because we've got so many cool ideas coming hope you found that video useful please do like it and share it with anybody that might be interested in uh, audio install in their 
and as always thanks for watching